Miss Caitlin. Good morning. How you doing? You okay, boo boo? <laughs> I know, you're not feeling too good today. You got the goops. We don't like having the goops. That means it's time for pumpkin. Time for pumpkin and potato flakes. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, such a good girl. Such a good girl. So this is our routine with Caitlin. So because she doesn't have the complete set of intestinal plumbing that a normal cat would have, we have to augment her diet with uh, pumpkin and potato flakes. And right now she's having a really tough week. So, a little bit of potatoes, I mean, pumpkin. She also gets Fortiflora. That helps keep her Know, a nice little intestinal trap bacteria nice and <laughs> you hungry you hungry you finish mixing this You ready? You ready? Come on. Come on. You know where to go. Come on. Go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Come on. Go to your tree. Go. Oh, 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 careful. Come on. All right. Here you go. Okay. Hi, Baba. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Okay. Those are looking so much better. So much better than what you first got here. Yeah. I know. This is Saya. She came to us about a month ago. And she's from CACC and she's a cat nap cat. And she's got some chemical burns that we're treating and we're getting, getting them under control. She had four and above her shoulder and that's completely healed. So now we're working on this. Um, this area right here is almost gone and this was all one big wound. So now she's got skin between that. Um, they're really tough to treat. We can't put anything on her because she'll just pull it right off. And we've tried the cone, and yeah, the cone comes right off. Careful, boo, careful. So now it's time for some medication. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ashley's gonna let her out the room today. Yup, sure he is. Yeah. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Can you roll over? <laughs> Can you go the other way? Can you go the other way? Let's see if we can get you the other way. Let's see if we can get you the other way. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No. No. You don't want to roll over? Let's try to get you to roll over, okay? <laughs> You're gonna fall out the tree. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at it. It's all jiggly. It's all jiggly. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Why would anybody do that to you? Why would anybody do that to you? People are jerks. All right, if you're not going to roll over, I'm going to call it a day for that, okay? I'll take care of the other two. No, 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 So after that, she gets her wound paste, and this helps cover it after the Tresidar. Now, Tresemme, Tresidar. So. Yeah. So once you start handling her, she's, she's pretty good. Oh, now you roll over. Well, I was already able to put the Tresoderm on that one, so. Got one more spot. One more spot. Let me try this, okay? stupid. I'm sorry, baby. So. Get that down in there. Get that off in there. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. That's annoying. You don't like that. I don't like it either. But try and get all that hair out of it. Yeah, so it doesn't stick. Uh, it doesn't last very long. Uh, sets in well. And we're hoping by the time that she goes back to catnap, they'll be completely healed over. Um, Duncan wounds were a lot worse when he got burned and it took about a month and a half for his wounds to start growing over 
and we didn't expect it to happen that quickly. It just like dried up and the edges of his wound just started closing up. It was like every day he got a new centimeter of new skin. So we're hoping the same thing happens with her. And like I said, we can't cover them up because if we do, she's just going to pull it off. Want to say hi to people? Want to say hi? No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Saya.